we are on the Tripoli to Sepa motorway, <laughs> right next to the refinery, waiting to collect our food. It's one of the most attractive locations in this motorway, and we hope to be here for several hours. First test here of uh, loading up um, gas tanks, and we're trying in the refinery to get them filled up. Um, all of Chris's goods are here on the ground, a full trailer full of stuff to keep us hopeful and surviving for the rest of the trip in the desert. Now Paul is still in a bit of a doze but our car with the fuel cylinders has finally arrived. Um, whether they're full or not, we shall see in a minute. Let's have a walk up and see what the boys have to say here with their full cylinders. Here are the stars of the tour. Well done. We've entered the mountains of Jabalia Sufuza and are on the mountain top, cruising through some villages. Nothing too striking, exciting. Um, it was quite an impressive steep climb, but now we're on the plains. we still got about more than 400 kilometers down to Sepa. So we set off the big Richtung Sepa. We're traveling down to Sepa now with uh, some beautiful Arabian music. Big motorway, not too much traffic. Well, Paul and Chris have uh, gone off to speak to the airport and sort out refueling. We have a few minutes to look around uh, the lovely area here. Near the hotel there is um, some Doff uh, Cot Towers, Libyan style, and a lovely well. And in a minute I shall wander down to have a look at the zoo. It's a lovely quiet area here, our camp just to the south of Sepa. A wonderful place just to chill out for a few minutes before we uh, will unpack our stuff and sort out the village. There are some desert foxes. Unfortunately the barbed wire, the fence is a little bit too much to get a really good picture of them. They're lovely little animals, very pretty. Here yeah, we even have a whole bunch of ostriches. Doing the afternoon walks. Here's another one. Happy birthday to you. Here we are in Libya, my country 36. Um, we got it finally on the 12th of uh, March after having driven about more than a thousand kilometers in the, to the desert. The winds were always too strong to fly in the previous days, but this morning winds are still not slow. We're doing 18.5 knots. But we have a perfect track, as you can see here, over the dunes. It's so much fun to play low level over the beautiful sand dunes here, which stretch for about 800 kilometers from here to the Algerian.
desert and I think everybody of us is really, really happy. Well, we've come low now and try to fly low level over the dunes. So when we come down here, the track is unfortunately a bit towards uh, the center of the town, center of the valley, and there's power lines, so we won't be able to do much of the low flying exercise. But Knots 
So low flying is quite a challenge. You need to keep your mind always on uh, looking around, seeing the approach line is coming. Um, at least here there's nothing to hit, <laughs> except for hearts. The other consideration is we don't have very good um, propane here, so my flame is not very strong. So keep it under control. The temptation, of course, is a bit lower in the next minute. These beautiful barkans, these moon, half moon shaped dunes, wind blown. We're on the ground, this is all above us. And I'm upside down. There's the other balloon. I can't see anything because I'm just sort of strapped in here. But we've made it! An hour's flight on some of the landings of the other buddies. Oh, here comes a nice one. Let's just quickly swing around. Nice black landing of Chris. Fantastic. Libya isn't a place you'd necessarily choose to come on your holidays, but it's certainly a place you'd choose to come and get your hundredth country. And the desert on the way to the Algerian border is one of the most wonderful places to land at high speeds, not something you can do very often. And here we are, four balloons, all from the UK, and five pilots making a fantastic flight uh, towards the west, towards the Algerian border, and for me, a hundred. It's Abdul, our very, Abdul, very good driver, uh, not driver, our very good Abdul, guy. I'm not the chief, everybody's calling me chief, I'm not the chief. I'm Abdul anyway. We made a beautiful landing in the sea sand of Obari, where a beautiful uh, four lakes is located. If we get time today, we're going to visit to see the lakes. Uh, we've got two balloons here and the other balloons on the other side. My main concern is Ali's balloon, I'm next to it. This is for the first uh, ballooning day. Coffee right. Yeah, okay. we've Coffee done it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Coffee DM, you're absolutely right. With a great but team. It was the right place to go from, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. This is oh. the, the, the Obari Sea Sound. When we got down there, I climbed up there. 320, 20 knots. We were back at the camp finally after having sorted out refueling. I've downloaded all the pictures. This is the campsite uh, Phil and I are staying in whilst the others have been forced to do a practice camping just next behind the loos here. And the most terrible thing actually in all these camps is that the water pumps make a terrible noise at night and so far we never had a good night's sleep. Anyway.